Good morning, everybody. I hope you had a good sleep and you're feeling rested and ready to have a day of school online. Um, last time we talked about the zones, and you remember how there are different colors that represent how you're feeling. And the color blue tells, um, if you're feeling blue, you're feeling kind of sad and tired and maybe sick and you kind of look like this. If you're green, you're feeling kind of fresh and ready to go and everything's okay. You're not too upset. You're not too excited. You're just kind of in a nice, easy mood. And a yellow could still be happy. You could be really excited because maybe um, a team that you really like won or it's your birthday. You're really excited so you have more energy. And then red means... Oh, you're frustrated, you're really scared, or there's a really strong feeling that's uncomfortable. So think about how you're feeling right now. And if you're feeling um, red, or if you're feeling yellow, maybe you can do something to calm your body, like taking your hands and going like this, or doing this with your ears, or giving yourself a little rub. Just, I'm going to do this for a little bit, and why don't you do that? And even if you're feeling green or blue, that feels good. If you're feeling blue, maybe you just kind of want to move your body a little bit, take your head back and forth, make you pretend you're swimming. It's kind of nice getting your body to move. One thing I like to do if you guys were in class is we'd all stand up. You can do this. You can stand up if you want. And you pretend you have a ball in your hand. And you go squish, 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 squish. And you hold it really tight like this. And you go pew, and let it go up in the air. And do that a couple more times. Squish. in the air. Squish, 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 up in the air. Okay, yeah, now we're going to do some clapping. We're going to do a beat. So maybe you could do this. One, two, three, four. 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 Um, maybe we could do this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Maybe we could do this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You do one. You can pause me if you want and you could do some beats. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to read you a story about mass Maustronaut. And this is by an actual astronaut named Mark Kelly. And um, it's a really neat book about a little mouse based on a partially true story. That means not 100% true, just partially true. The space shuttle is set for a launch and the astronauts are doing their last minute training to prepare for the mission. NASA is sending along some special guests for this flight. And they're training too. Little mice. Oh, look at that one on the wheel. One mouse is smaller than all the rest. His name is Meteor. The other mice know he won't be chosen for his important mission, but someone has his eye on Meteor, and he's impressed with the little mouse's hard work. I wonder why they want to send a mouse to space. The shuttle commander announces that six mice will be selected for the flight. He picks five of the biggest, strongest mice. But the sixth spot, to everyone's surprise, he chooses Meteor. All six are taken to their special home, taken to their new home, a special cage called the Mouse Hotel. The other mice are nervous at the count as the countdown begins, but not Meteor. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. What's going to happen next? Lift off. I was going to say blast off, but I guess it's called lift off. At first, the mice are pressed flat against their cages by the power of the launch, but then the pressure goes away. The other mice cling to their cages in terror, but not Meteor. He loves the feeling of being weightless. Hey, little guy, the commander says, you're a natural, a real live mousetronaut. Meteor is taken from his cage and gets a tour of the shuttle. He can even see Earth way off in the distance. 
The astronauts are all very busy during the 14th day flight. There, else, there are spacewalks to take and experiments to conduct. But what can Meteor do? Then, while answering an email, one of the astronauts notices the key to the control panel stuck between the monitors. When he tries to get it out, it accidentally gets wedged farther down. This isn't good, says the commander. We need that key back. One astronaut tries to move the monitor. It doesn't budge. Another slips her fingers into the crack, but the key is stuck down too deep. One even tries pushing it out with a long piece of metal, but with no luck. No one can reach it. The astronauts are getting worried, but as they discuss the problem, a tiny figure has an idea. Being the smallest isn't a bad thing, Meteor says to himself. Maybe I can be useful in this flight. So this little tiny mouse probably can do something that those big mice can't do. I wonder what it is. Think about why is his size going to help him out? Meteor squeezes his way into the crack. The space is dark and cramped, but Meteor spots the key and tugs at it with all of his might. Hey, look at what our tiny friend has done, the commander says. He's saved the mission. When the shuttle returns to Earth, Meteor is declared a hero. He's even given a brand new uniform and an official title, Mousetronaut. All astronauts cheer and applaud, but Meteor is already thinking about his next big mission. And there he is wearing an astronaut suit. He chosen, this is an orange one. I think they wear this when they're not actually in space. And his helmet, maybe they do because he does have a helmet. So I wonder, is that true? Is there really a little mouse in space? There's a story at the end that tells you about, all about being an astronaut. I'm not going to read all that because that's a lot of words. But I thought this was a nice, fun story that ties in to what we've been learning about. And um, yesterday we did an activity with the moon, and today we'll be doing another one. So I want you guys to, there's going to be the hello song, and I'm going to put um, probably another song on there for you to, to enjoy. So goodbye. Have a wonderful day. Uh, make sure you get exercise, and don't sit on the screen all the time. Um, Go run around, climb a tree, ride your bike, play with your brother or sister, help your mom and dad, clean up after yourself, get active. So um, you will be, yeah, you'll see this, and I'll see some of you in a reading group later. Bye-bye.